Good afternoon, guys. Hope you're all doing well. By my side, I'm fine. I'm doing great. Last week uh, was a good week. Last week was a good week. Uh, and I, uh, I hope everyone is doing good. Yeah, so last week, we, there were two nice opportunities that we are supposed to take this one, this one, this impulse here, and this impulse that happened Friday. So now, <coughs> sorry guys, I think now we still have rooms for the market to drop still have room for the market to drop. And now, I don't know, maybe Monday, Tuesday, I don't know, we're going to wait for a correction. We don't know how long it's gonna take, but all we know is just that price has to go up to make a retracement before we're going to sell again strongly. So uh, last week, we, we got this two opportunity. One was, I think, was on, on Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday and Friday. This one was this 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 move was on was on Friday and this one was on Thursday, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one was on Thursday. So uh Uh, the is uh, the way I told you guys that uh, right now you can't look for to buy to sell uh, to buy Nasdaq and U.S. Thirty. You can't. If you buy, it's just a temporary buy, just to be a temporary buy, not for you to hold. Because right now we are on a downtrend and the market is more into the downside. So, as you guys you can see. This big correction here, this big correction was the result of, this big correction was the result, was the result of this movement. This correction here was the result of this impulse here. Market was trying to, distribute here before it went down. Um, so then price did the, the same thing here, but here when the market was correcting, it was not correcting on the, on it, you see here it was correcting on a horizontal form. See, then it went down, but it was, here it was like doing it was correcting in a form of a wage uh, channel before it dropped down. Now, here, we don't know, it might do the same thing. It might maybe create a, a straight channel, we don't know, before it will drop down. So the reason, uh, The reason I, I think I might start, I would be selling from this zone here is because, is because all these areas is because this is a strong zone. This is a, this is a strong resistance, the price has to come, not, not only, even if I take my Fibonacci, sorry guys, um, if, I, if I put my Fibonacci, if I put my Fibonacci, uh, price, uh, 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 this is aligning with my uh, premium, premium, premium level on the Fibonacci, you see? So, what I would be expecting is for this market to go up. And if I see some rejection somewhere around here, 
somewhere here uh, around 78%, then I'll be going short because the trend right now is a down trend. It's not an uptrend. This is on NASDAQ. We, we still have a lot of room for NASDAQ to go. See, we have this strong support where, uh, where price need to go. Uh, for those, uh, yeah, where price needs to go. Right now, we can't look for buying. If we're supposed to, if we're still on the buy side, from me, price was not supposed to break. You know, from me, it was supposed to continue going up so that it can create another higher high, but it did not do. So failing to do so, price started now changing character. So right this week, all what I can tell you guys, just, just wait for price to retrace a bit up. You know, wait for price to, re, to, to, to retrace a bit up. You know, here, this price might do like this. This price might do like that. The same way it did here, you see all this big correction. It might be the same one that is going to do here before it will drop drastically. There are strong areas here, strong support where price need to go. You know, yeah, they are strong. You see, price, this is a, a very strong support. So the market for price needs or has to come here. It must come, but it's already here. So it is already here, so it needs to go up. Why? Because there was already a lot of, uh, because market already uh, went down drastically. The same way did he, remember market always, most of the time, it, not most of the time, it always repeat itself. Sometimes it repeat itself in a, in, 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 a, in a different way, but just in the same structure. No, no, let me say it, most of the time it presents, it, it, it does the same thing, but in a different structure or form. Just like here, it was like correcting, like in this uh, horizontal way. Now, here it was uh, uh, creating like on a wage way. Now here it might do the same big correction that did here before continue going down. So our selling, our buying, our buying, uh, our, our, our our buying is just gonna it's just going to start once this price start create new higher high higher low. Understand? Right now, this price is just all these are our support areas. This our support, our support area whereby price will have to come. Yeah, because we are we are no longer on a uptrend. This was the last zone for us to start what for us to start buying. This was our last zone for us to start buying. So, what will this price then has to do? This price. This correction here on the four hour time frame will be the one to come and retest this zone. Understand? It needs to come and uh, retest this zone before continuing down because that is, the, that is the structure that this market is doing what? This is the structure that this market is creating, you see, like this. We are, the market is doing, is creating higher high, is creating lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. So there's no way we are going to cheat this market. We should follow the market. Yeah, here is where we're supposed to, from here, here is where we're supposed to buy, but price failed to return from here. From here is where we're supposed to do what? When the price, when the market came and when, when, when it went back, from me is where we're supposed to do what we're supposed to go up, but that's not what happened. When the market came, it broke structure, then it came, and now it's just it is it needs to range here before it continue going down. That's why I'm saying 
uh, tomorrow Monday or today when the market open and to, tomorrow and Tuesday, I'll be looking at this zone. All I want is just to check at this zone. What is the market going to do? Yeah, this, are, this is the zone we'll be looking at. So, uh, yeah, you see, this is a strong support area. So the market has to reject and go back and then to come again to reject. When this support will be violated, then I'll be focused on this one. Until, for me, I think, I think, I think there is a trend line here. There is a channel where this market is moving. So I think our buying will start once the price reaches until here. Here is where the price wanna go. Until here is when who will be until here is where who will be looking to do what to buy. is where we'll be looking to, to buy. Right now, don't buy NASDAQ. If you buy, don't hold it, just, just scalp. No, don't hold it, don't hold it, just scalp and then go with the market. Um, this is the same with, uh, this is the same with, uh, what, with US 30. They don't move. Uh, this they don't move at the same time, but they move the same, the same way. Yeah. So let me go on one more time from. Yeah. So this is what I see on Nasdaq. I'll be looking to sell Nasdaq in these zones between, between sixteen zero thirty eight point five. This zone, this resistance will be go is where I'll be going short. Now let let me go. <clears throat> now let me go on on U thirty. Uh, U thirty is just doing the same thing here. U thirty is doing the same thing. Market. This is how. This is what the market's doing. This is what the market was doing. Was, was, was correcting here. And then what happened? It broke. It, so it came down. It was then doing the same thing the way Nasdaq was doing. Here it was correcting horizontal. Horizontally, and then it was. In, in it was correcting in a vertical way, and then, price broke. Now, right now, this market is doing lower high, lower low. This was the lower low that was broken. Then lower high, lower low that was created and was broken. So right now, market is it, market is just doing what it's just correcting. We are also on a downtrend, it's just correcting. And then if price, I'm waiting for price to come at these zones here before before shorting this market. Yeah, even if I put my Fibonacci there, uh, I'm, I'll, uh, I'm expecting for price to, to come a bit up, to come a bit up on this 78% of my Fibonacci before doing what, before going short. All we need is just to look for short opportunity on these two uh, pairs. Yeah, NASDAQ and US 30. And it's gonna go until, I don't know, but I'm expecting for what, for it to come until, what is that, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm expecting for it to come until, guys, this is my logo. Yeah. I'm expecting for price to come until somewhere it this support. From this support, from this support is where we'll be going, looking to go out, to go, to go out, to go long. So we are going to start buying once price 
Home price reach a decision, a support level. When price come at this support level, then we're going to buy. And it's also a confluence with, uh, with the trend line. This for our, this for our trend line. As if you can see, this is how it's going. Price is just in within this channel. So now we know we have our first touch, second touch, and this uh, is Tabuba. This is actually poor. Do this is this is Yeah, yeah. You know, sorry guys. Just yeah. When price come here, is where we want to look to go long. Yeah. So as you guys, you can see, market is doing higher, high, higher, low, higher, high, higher lows. And the forward time frame is more, it's more clear. As you guys, you can see, this is what the market is doing. Higher, low. Hey, sorry guys, uh, lower, low, lower, high. Then press broke, created new lower, low, lower, high. Then it broke. So now it's going to create what it is. It, it created a lower high. Now we're expecting for what for this market to this price to come and break this lower low. Then from me is when we are going to do what to see something maybe changing of trend to continue with the main trend. That's all. That's all. So just stick on the sell opportunity. When I'm going to we'll see what the market is gonna do this week. And then I'll update you guys on Sunday next week when I'll, when I'll upload another video. But but by doing by you sharing and subscribing to this channel, it will encourage me more to make some free analysis. And then yeah. So guys, I wish you guys all the best for those upcoming those upcoming forex traders in our country i wish you guys all the best and never give up forex is just like it's just a game change you know once you get it right once you get it right for now learn first and then end later don't 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 put your mind on like yeah i want to make a quick money no it doesn't work like this if you come with this mentality this market is gonna humble you nicely. And this market is not for lover boys. It's not for weak people. You should be strong. When you lose 10K, when you lose your 1K, don't, don't feel bad. Just learn from that. Correct yourself like on what made you lose the money. Where did you went wrong? Did you, did you went in too early? You know, did you, did you maybe copy like, someone signal or what you know that's why i i only follow people who don't flex no yeah because me myself i don't flex on social media yeah i only put my thing on youtube my profit when i lose i lose that's part of the game doesn't mean that yeah because we know we are here in the market we don't lose we blow account sometimes yeah, we blow account some time, but our reward is more than what we lose. So, guys, that's what I, ha I have for you guys for today. And just keep in mind, just follow the trend. Don't, you know, those big moves, they come when you are right on the train. If you, 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 you analyze, like, shows you, like, the trend, like the, the, the trend for the moment or the, for the current week or the current month. If you just find out, okay, this is how the trend is going, just for it, just like here. If you see this is on the four hour, on the daily, or on the one hour, it's showing you that no, the market is an uptrend. Don't try to cheat the market, just try to follow it. All you need is just to follow and know, okay. Until where am I going to say, no, this thing is no longer an uptrend, it's a downtrend, you know? Yeah. If, if you guys, you can see, look, even like here, 
uh, if I put a line, let me just put the line. Uh, no, okay, let me just put the line. You see, this is how the market was moving. But then you this you will this. But then you will see that uh -uh, this market is no longer doing what it broke that uh, higher low. So what do you, what do you expect when you see that price broke this higher low, which was here, which was here, which was here. When you see that price, when you see that price broke that, then start looking for what? For selling opportunity. That's what happened. Can you see from there? It started like falling. It, it broke that higher low and then came to retest. After the retest, look what happened. The market never came back. No, that is the same thing that we are expecting once this market will start reversing back. Because you know, this is, an, this is a, a strong uptrend. Look, NASDAQ and US 30, they are always moving up. So when you see it's selling, those are just temporal trend they are not permanent you need to know until where do you think this market will go understand because i don't think because this is an uptrend i don't think this price will come again until maybe until e down no it has to come and stop to stop here and then proceed understand and proceed maybe there will be a big week big rejection somewhere when it will come and touch here before continue going up but when how do we uh how do we recognize that uh, now it's time for it to start going up simple and easy all what you need just to um it's just all you need is just to to check okay see okay this is what is happening right now you don't see the market doing like this we don't see market creating higher, high, higher low. We don't see that thing. We all we see just a price just going like this, like this, like this, like this. That's all. That, so now we want something to, to do like this. When by the time, by the time it reaches here to this support, this strong support area. No. By the time this market reaches these zones, because this is a very strong support area. This one where price was just respecting all of rejecting whenever it was coming in. See? See? All this is all you need. Don't you don't need a lot of indicators, a lot of funny things. No. Just follow. Just follow. Follow the car. Where is the car going? Where is the price going? No. Remember, when it's an uptrend, the market will work. It's always like this, higher, high, higher, high, low, higher, high, higher, high, low, higher, higher, high, low, higher, high. When it's a downtrend, it will always be like this, lower, high, lower, low, lower, high, lower, low. You know, when you see it's starting to change direction, you will already notice that the, the, it, it will change character. You will see that structure is changing. It's no longer creating lower, high, lower, low. Understand? Yeah. Just be patient. All you need to do, just trade according to your plan. Don't copy signal. Don't go trade because you saw no. Maybe this one is what is doing. Mm, don't do like this, bro. Just follow the step. Follow the market where it's going. Yeah. So guys, uh, I wish you guys all the best. And you should never give up. Always remind yourself where, when did you started? Why did you started? Where are you right now? From where you started? How far are you for you to give up? You know, because giving up is not the solution. So this is Pin to Forex. I'm out.